What was it that you liked so much about Goldilocks and the Three Bears? It sure wasn't Goldilocks herself. You hated Goldilocks. She abandoned her own home for someone else's, only to meddle with their personal belongings. Goldilocks was rude. Goldilocks was selfish. Goldilocks was deplorable. The bears, on the other hand, were none of these things. The bears were an innocent, happy family. A mother, a father, and a baby. They weren't at all deserving of what Goldilocks had done unto them. You never related to Goldilocks. You never cared for Goldilocks. But you understood how important a functional family was. And you knew how quickly one could be obliterated. Flash forward just a bit. You're five and a half years old. Pretend play continued to envelop your life. Yet you've graduated from the quaint garden of the adobe. You've since moved on to a larger scale sandbox, the nearby Verdugo Park. This was big boy playtime. You had practically an entire forest to yourself. Every fairy tale takes place in one, and now you had your own, your own sanctuary. Granny continued to take you out to play, trekking deep into the woods of the park to live out your fantastical flights of fancy. This still occurred just about every day, and every time you had your bear suit on. Eventually, this started to become a bit too demanding for Granny. The daily journeys out to the park. She had developed a plethora of health issues, which greatly reduced her level of participation in your play. At your age, you were incapable of fully understanding this. This was a sad time for you, and the summer that followed was tough. Granny had completely discontinued her role as your forest companion. She had to stay home. You continued to venture out into the woods, now often without Granny by your side. There was less play now, more sitting, more thoughts still wearing that costume. You could never part with that thing. It was the only piece of you that remained constant. Things would get lonely though, very lonely. You had started kindergarten that year and like in preschool, it was tricky for you to make friends. People didn't get you. In the hopes that you'd meet new people, Granny signed you up for theater classes. Maybe that was a suitable outlet for emotional release you could actually benefit from in the long run. The classes proved you could act. I mean, hey, what is acting without pretending? And pretending was what you were best at. But you were worst at human interaction. And this issue seeped right into the classes. You bit a kid. Only your second session, done, removed immediately. You found yourself stuck at home, with no friends to play with, and your sick grandmother lying in her bedroom. You began to frequent the woods at night. It was the only way to see it more often. Without the woods, you weren't yourself. You would sneak out with a gas lantern in hand sat out there amongst the shadows. The canopy of leaves and branches protected you from your troubles, but not for much longer. One night, Granny awoke to find your bed empty. You returned home and she was furious. In an attempt to keep you safe, she forever banished you from leaving for the woods again confiscating your lantern. This became a problem. The months that followed were hard. At school, you were bullied, ignored, and degraded. At home, you were acknowledged, 
but not in the way you used to be. Your dominion was stripped away from you. You didn't feel like you. And then Granny died. This was just a month later. On your birthday. She read Goldilocks to you that morning, hit with a fatal stroke about halfway through the story. You were left with no one by your side. It was decided that you'd go into foster care. The foster home was located just up the hill from Granny's house, same neighborhood. You were anxious about the change, but with the woods still nearby, you'd hopefully be able to find some form of comfort during this uncertain time. Proceed to subfolder 9165 for instructions regarding the next chapter in your story. Feel free to explore the visual subfolder for further reference.